Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a privacy friendly way to set up a home surveillance system with cameras and everything like that. This is also fully compatible uh, with HomeKit Apple integration as well, which is very nice if you're into that, since there isn't really too many options out there. You can use something like Home Assistant and a couple other different things, and I've experimented with those to great detail, but a lot of those solutions just don't work as well. Um, so in this video, we're going to be discussing what that solution is. Um, we're not going to go too depth into how to use it. Um, if you're interested, I can make more videos down in the description down below. We're just going to be kind of discussing the setup. Um, because when you kind of start looking into it, um, you know, there are decent integrations with this setup inside the application that make it pretty self-explanatory as long as you're familiar with basic things like an IP address, setting up RTSP cameras and so forth. If that's not something you're comfortable in learning, if you're someone who just wants something set up immediately and doesn't have as many privacy benefits, there are some other options out there on um, the internet, maybe if you don't want as much control. Um, so that's also an option I might discuss in later on in the video. Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am, and that's why I use a service like Incogni to make sure no one could find my IRL information if they find my name. A service like Incogni goes through all the available data brokers out there like White Pages and these different websites. It will tell these websites to remove your information and it saves you tons of time. Use my link in the description down below to get 50% off Incogni as you see here on this website to get this deal. This is my top rated data broker removal tool. It's around half the price of competing services like Delete Me and it has a better interface to boot. So thanks for checking out this one and let's get back to the video. Also, guys, if you're still dealing with the fallout from the horrible email platform called Skiff, maybe you're using Gmail and you want a more privacy friendly alternative, consider checking out Startmail. I'll put a link in the description down below that should be able to get you 50% off. This is my preferred encrypted privacy friendly email provider. Some of the reasons are is it's the easiest one to use. Um, you have unlimited alias support. You even have, I think, one um, personal domain per account. Um, so that is pretty cool. As you can see here, email address with start mail domain or one custom domain. That is very nice. Um, no ads, no tracking. Definitely a very solid service. And it's the one I recommend. It's my best one right now. All right, guys, back to the video. So guys, what exactly am I talking about? Well, it's scripted. This video is not sponsored by scripted. And in fact, they don't even have an affiliate or a sponsorship program. But this is a program that I haven't seen discussed as often as I think it should be. Now, I think there are a couple reasons for that. Uh, one, it is a little harder to use than some other options out there, but I would actually say that scripted is easier to use and set up security cameras than something like Home Assistant. Also, maybe a little bit easier even than something like Blue Iris. Also, the ability to integrate it with other smart platforms is also very good and powerful, which is why I like it. Interface is top notch as well. So what exactly is scripted? Well, scripted is basically a way to kind of create an MVR on your computer that will also connect to other smart platforms whether home kit stuff like that um, very good nvr combined with video streaming capability also has tons of integrations and ways to kind of work with the cameras themselves and support for some of the best cameras out there you can also install it on windows or docker so there you go very simple um, and it's very easy to install you just click install um, so let's go ahead and show you what scripted looks like. Um, this is basically what it is. Um, scripted is kind of like the way I think of it, it has a couple different panels and let's go ahead and start it up. And this is what it looks like a very nice little application here. Let's make it a little smaller even. Um, so you kind of have like three ways to look at it. You have the management console, cameras and recordings and specific individual cameras. So the management console is where I just was. And that's kind of how you set things up. Cameras and recordings is how you view previous footage and real camera is specifically going to that exact camera right now I only set it up with one camera and this camera is a beast this camera is a 4k 180 degree camera so I have this set up on the front of my house and I can pretty much see every single thing that goes anywhere in front of my house so yeah pretty good on the other side of my house and around the house, I've set it up with different systems to test those out as well. Um, different kind of ways to do it. Um, and with scripted, I've set this one up to test it and I've been getting really, really good results. So guys, 
let's go ahead and look at the management console. So like I said, this is kind of where you set things up. As you can see here, you have tons of plugins you can install. I've been testing a lot of these out. It has a real link camera plugin, so it makes it very easy to set up your real link cameras. And the good thing is, this also has really good object detection. So it can detect things um, very well, um, cars and whatnot like that, people as well. So when you're scrolling through the footage, you can see things very quickly. I've actually gotten some very funny um, clips. I saw something funny happen. I went back on this and I was able to get video of it. Um, so that's pretty funny. I don't want to show too much of my setup though in terms of what the camera looks like. So I don't want to dox myself and it just gets a pain to blur everything. Um, but so here are some kind of settings you could do. Um, the nice thing is you could just search for any kind of plugin you want. Look at all these different plugins. You got real link plugins, Unify Protect, Arm Crest plugins, various camera, different plugins, Chromecast Synology. Um, so that will work. Synology surveillance, um, different things. It just has so much support here, which is really cool. And look at all the different updates here, guys. Very nice. So I think you could probably even have some kind of notification via Slack or something like that. That just goes to show you how powerful it is. So you guys may be wondering, well, what camera should you get for this kind of setup? Like I said, you are going to need stuff that supports ITSP. That's what I found works well. The nice thing is you don't even need these to be PoE devices or power via Ethernet. You could just plug this in, connect to your um, router setup and you can use these on scripted. Now I'm getting this to display around 4K footage um, or at least 1080p kind of downscaled, but it looks crispy as hell. Um, like I said, I can't really show that footage because I don't want to talk to myself. This is a privacy related channel and stuff like that. Um, but this is a good option. If you want something very premium, it will work perfectly. I've got it set up working with audio and video surveillance. Very nice. Um, so that's definitely an option. Um, you, you just kind of want to get stuff that supports ITSP. This looks pretty cool. I think this is kind of brand new. It has some tracking features. So if we go into scripted, we can kind of show you some of the devices, um, you know, that you could set up. Um, here's some of the kind of, um, um, you could even set up some automations. I haven't really played around with this stuff too much. So one of the coolest thing about scripted is kind of the interface. And as you can see here, we have lots of different kind of images that pop up showing you what it's detected. You could go to events just to see exactly who has been passing by. I could see people doing fireworks and stuff like that because it was 4th of July. Of course, this is all blurred out just to protect my privacy. But as you could get some indication of how good the interface is, that's one reason I like scripted. It just has a very, very good um, way to kind of show it. And I even have live thing right there and audio so I could check it out right there. Very, very nice. This is probably the best interface I've had. Specifically, we could go to this individual camera to see what's going on with it, set it up, stuff like that. Here's some of the setup information. Um, also, PTZ capabilities you could um, use. And the cool thing is, guys, you could set this up via HomeKit if you want. If you use Apple devices, and pretty much all you do is just go here, scan this, and integrate it in, and it works really well. The thing with me, though, I couldn't get it working is that I couldn't get recordings through HomeKit. You're supposed to be able to do that to be able to check it from your phone. I couldn't get that working. Someone else might be able to get that working. It's supposed to work with that. But for me, just having all the footage on my computer is good enough anyways. And being able to check it live on my phone through HomeKit is good as well. So what are some of the um, cons of scripted? Well, there is some kind of fees. I think it's like 10 or $15 a month when it comes to being able to kind of use the NVR capabilities. Um, so it, it is kind of like a little bit of a kind of paid uh, kind of thing. As you can see here, um, these features are available on licensed cameras. The basic description includes four licenses. So you get four cameras, record 24 seven to local storage. Um, so you don't even have to put it in the cloud, smart detections, um, all cameras, um, mobile apps for iOS and Android, view your cameras from anywhere. I didn't even know it had a mobile app. I've just been using it through HomeKit. And as it says here, adaptive streaming, rock solid compatibility, home assistant cards, low latency streaming cards. So you can also integrate it with um, Home Assistant. Um, so yeah, it is a paid kind of subscription service, to, but I honestly think it's worth it because the software is so good. Isn't anything else like this that really compares? Something like um, Blue Iris I've been testing out in the past. It was pretty good, but one day, the, the the website just kind of went down kind of sketchy um 
but it's just a little bit more outdated and harder to use than something like this. So guys, that's about it for me when it comes to this one. Let me know if you find this service interesting. Um, it's a very well received service on places like Reddit and some privacy communities, but it's not discussed as often as some other things like Synology and those kind of things. Um, but this can be integrated with it. So guys, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you again very soon.